Good morning, Believe Nation. Today's message is think for yourself. Over to you, Carl Icahn. When you go out into the world, you should try to stand up against the trend, even though it might, I mean, literally, it might cost your job, it might cost your promotion. But in the end, think for yourself, be innovative, try. I mean, I'm not telling you go in and tell them what to do. You've got to be careful about that, obviously. But, but if you have ideas, go, slam the table. Don't worry about it. Come up with your own imagination because that's what this country needs. I think this is one of the hallmarks of true entrepreneurs, of people who've had massive success, is they think for themselves. They don't just abide by the rules. They often hate rules. You know, they understand rules are there for a reason, but they're always questioning the rules. They're always asking, why do we do things that way? And in business, it's not a good enough answer to say, because that's the way we've always done things. And for the entrepreneurs who are out there challenging the status quo, those are the ones who are gonna have the bigger success. If you are just doing something the same way everybody else is doing in your industry, if you're selling the same product at the same price with the same service, there's nothing unique or special or different about you, then you're gonna have less than mediocre results because those people have been around longer and have brand name, have recognition, a client list. For you to stand out, you have to be different. You have to think for yourself. You have to find the thing that you're upset about that there's a problem that hasn't been solved and you wanna bring that to the market. I did the top 10 rules for success because I wanted to learn from all these successful people and I was upset that I had to watch hours and hours and hours and hours of footage to get a couple of nuggets for me to digest. I created the Espresso series because I wanted a morning shot. I wanted some energy, some ideas, something quick in the morning to get my day started. I created that out of my own necessity, my own pain, and thankfully you guys have enjoyed and joined me on the process as well. That's how it starts, right? You have to think for yourself and find a way to do something differently. I have a new instructor that we're training at Toronto Dance Salsa, and she lives this, right? She hates rules, she's questioning everything, and I love it, right? I love it because, again, this is the way we've always done it is not a good enough answer. And she'll come to me and she'll say, why do we do things like this? Why, do, why does TDS do it like this? And if I don't have a good answer uh, with a logical reason as to why we do it, then maybe it's time to change something. So explaining it and, and saying, hey, I'm open to feedback. What do you think? How do we make it better? Right? You want to hire people too who want to challenge the rules, who want to do something bigger, who help your company build and grow and not just do things the way you've done it because that's how you've always done it. So it's so, 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 so important that you think for yourself and believe in your ideas as well. So the question today today is, we're talking about breaking rules or being upset with rules. I'm curious, what rule, what rule bothers you the most? What rule, a business rule, a life rule, what rule bothers you the most that needs to be changed? Let's bring some change about. Leave it down in the comments below. I'm gonna join in the discussion. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love. I'll see you soon. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going.